hello viewers welcome to the new sewing hub in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to fix the neck of a shirt as you are seeing in this video so if you're a new viewer please or a returning viewer you are welcomed kindly click the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so first of all this is the shirt that you'll be working with first of all we are going to measure the neck round so as to get the actual measurement that you'll be working with. remember i started at the end now just watch closely how how i measure it also um, remember to click the like button and also comment just comment anything so that other people that is in need of this video can also see it just like the this thing the video <clears throat> now we are still measuring it just watch closely guys so the measurement that you have here is 17 point three quarter 17 point three quarter so this is the gum set i'll be working with remember this um, english mouth is not uh, we are not going to be working with it so we are going to like cut it out we won't be making use of it so guys just watch closely remember it's 17 point three quarter or oh, 17 three quarter something like that <laughs> anyway that you do call you on but i'll make it 18 like our main destiny is 17 three quarter so i'll add uh, i'll make it to be 18 so for the length be measuring 1.1 inch 1.18 or just any way that you do feel safe calling it so also at the middle of it 1.18 or 1.1 just that way now we'll be cutting it out with our scissors just watch closely guys i would have um, used my hand to just draw it but if i use my hand to draw it it won't um, be straight so that's why i decided to work with my scissors remember this gum set is not that strong because if you are working with that strong one it won't give you this exact a neck that we are cutting it won't give you the other destiny that we are cutting so buy anyone that is a bit light so now see guys see i'm going to give you that c shape just watch closely guys this video will really really, really help you remember we are we made it to be eight so we are going to like shift the hand a bit just small so that you also be that 17 three water remember just um that's what i'm using my scissors to explain just watch closely guys just shift your hand a bit <laughs> just something like that now make the c shape you can just any shape that you, you can also do block from but i prefer making it a c shape like for mine you know for my own you can also do it any way that you want but uh, this c shape is more senior so we are done with this one this is the result i got so this one now is for the upper part the upper color so for the upper color we'll be measuring 2.2 .2 inch or 2.28 that's okay let's just say 2.2 .2 inch that you guys will understand better remember that's how i give me this one is the down part too this one now is the damn part remember i measured 1.1 inch and the <clears throat> this one now we will minus two inch from it we minus two inch from this one now so this one will be 15 points three quarter 15 point three quarter remember the other one is 18 like 17 point three quarter so i minus two inch so that it will give me that perfect shape that i'm looking for so now cut it remember i minus two inch so this one now you just two point two inch and this side now this i gave me that exact two point two inch that i'm looking for so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to fold it so that it will be it will be that nice just watch closely guys uh -huh. 
I've cut it out. Just watch closely, guys. I've cut it. Everything is now 2.2 inches. Now, let's give it that slant. That slanting shape. It is 3 quarter. I measured 3 quarter. It's not up to 1 inch. I measured 3 quarter for it. Now, let me... Let me use my chalk as an illustration. I'm going to just cut it this way. I'm going to cut it. Okay, let me... Something like this now. Just watch closely, guys. Although there are many ways to cut it too, but I prefer this one now. Now, this other end that's... That is closed. We are also going to measure a three quarter inch. Three quarter inch. Now we are going to curve it. Just watch, just pay attention to this part because some people make a lot of mistake here now. Why cutting the steel for, for the neck? Just pay close attention here. See, I'm going to do it with my scissors. Have you seen it? That's three quarter. Remember, it's three quarter. Why here is also three quarter? Some people do make use of this one now, like when they are ironing it, they will add it so that to make it to be more thick. But I prefer, I prefer to sew just this way. I prefer to sew this way. <coughs> Now, see the result that we have gotten so far. This one is, remember, I minus 2 inch from the upper one so that it will give me this result now that we are seeing. I minus 2 inch now. Let's get to the ironing. So, this is our fabric. Let me just give you guys a little tip. So, this, this glue now has letters on it and also numbers. So, when you are cutting it uh, or when you are ironing it or when you are cutting your clothes, just make sure that it faces the upper part upper part of it and you gum the down part of it just make sure that the alphabets are facing upwards if somebody now now gum this clue this way now you know is now wrong the alphabet should be facing downwards so for now for this particular clue now we'll be gumming the down part of it remember this english mouth is not we are not going to make use of it so this is how we are going to be placing remember we are we are going to we have coming the down part of the cooler now let's remember i give half of an inch from the uh, end of the clue to just watch closely guys remember i give half of an inch from the fabric to where i'm doing my gumming because i will still fold it and now we have already gummed uh, clothes we are now is now very very strong so see what i'm going to do to this side now remember it's now very steep we are going to push it we are going to use our iron and bend it just this way now just this. have you seen what i'm doing there just make it to be to lap to the to the small remember is the smaller color that i'm using to fold or that i'm folding now we are done now let's use our scissors and cut it out remember when you are cutting it also give half of an inch at the top just for watch how i did my remember if you have you seen it i gave also half of an inch from the top Give half of an inch. Have you seen it? That's the half of an inch is for the sewing. Now let's gum the bigger one. That's the upper color. Remember, I also do the same thing like the letters now. So also to the upper one. And let's gum it. Now we are done with the gumming now what you are going to do is this same upper fabric now we are going to place it on that clue that you are sewing and also cut that exact material so like this one i have already done now is now two now now you also do the same thing to the smaller color 
just I'm, go, I'm going to do an illustration in this one now so have you seen it i have placed it on top of the fabric now i will use my scissors and cut it out just with those that exact testing don't shut it that exact uh this thing that is what you are going to cut i just put the small one and the bigger one just that same thing now let's get to the sewing <clears throat> now this just pay close attention here now this way now I just pay close attention now this is the right side of the fabric the right side of the fabric will be facing the right side of this fabric like the the both right side will be touching each other just pay close attention because if you make a mistake here or more <laughs> you don't make mistake with that too now let's start sewing remember we are going to start from that slanting and also sew the the place that we give the curve because we'll be turning it from that straight side now let's start our sewing remember don't sew very close to the stiff neck just give a little chance there just a little gap when you are doing your sewing just a little gap i'm also going to show you guys you just uh, uh let's say um one quarter and uh, it should be cool that way one quarter one quarter inch ah i'm more which i do one quarter abby so you guys say uh, one eight one eight actually just star one something in a measuring tape just small something <laughs> have you seen the guy just something like this don't so very close to the fabric now we're almost done just pay close attention now in this place now you just draw the fabric so that it will be equal so that one wouldn't be that small than the other i also remember to stitch it now when you're done you just now cut it with your scissors don't cut too close to where you have already sewn your thread so that you should lose it. Also remember to click the subscribe button on my channel like it will be showing on your screen and also remember to like this video so that other people that are in need of it will also benefit from this particular video now we are done cutting it so we are going to fold it you just use your scissors small now see 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 the tip of our this thing i will see how in it remember to subscribe click the subscribe button guys so now let's sew it You don't just sew it very close to the the tip. Just watch where I'm sewing mine. Now let me turn it. And also, when sewing this part, make sure that your hand is straight because it also helps to make your work to be neat. Now, we are done sewing it now. For this side, you just use your hand to identify, to check where the stiff measurement is. As you can see, my hand is placed at the fabric. So, what you are going to do now, you just trim it out. Like I sewed on top, like on top of the that straight part on the stiff neck so the next thing you are going to do you are going to trim it then fold it into two and give it a little notch so that you know the center so for the smaller color what you are going to do here is you are going to sew 
this part that you have already folded because i'll be sewing from the front i'll be sewing from the front of the clothes just make sure that it touches that um, half of an inch that you folded inside <clears throat> I've started my sewing now. I'm done with the sewing. So for this part now, eh, that's of half an inch is much. Although um, if it's for beginners, eh, that's why I give that half of an inch. But you can just eh, trim it a little, trim it just a little, like I'm doing in my own video. Why I say that half of an inch in case you just you made a mistake when you are doing your sewing, okay? Now this is the actual descent. So the thing, the next thing you're going to do is this. Make sure now eh, that the two stiff are touching together. Don't mind the glue. Just the two stiff are touching together. Now you just give it a little notch, a little notch, so that you know the center. Now we have already given it a little notch. Now the next thing you're going to do is to get the other fabric now the second part of that smaller color remember that 8 pm in the, will now be facing me that number eight will be facing me so that when you tough, turn it to just face the other part now for this place some people do make a lot of mistakes so the place that you're gonna be your teeth will be facing the upper part the upper part here yeah, now i got my see why this other part now is that other fabric that i joined now what you are going to do here is you now place your the smaller color also make it so that that plate that you notched to be together let's just adjust it a little so that i won't be sewing my that um, english mouth side make sure that do that notch is together so we are going to start sewing from that place that we notched just pay close attention because we are almost at the end of this video now have you seen how i curved it have you seen how i curved mine now i'm going to sew the other side of it just when you are sewing it make sure that uh, the three pieces that you are sewing are this one are this the bigger color and the smaller color will be be together so that to give you that accurate this thing that you are sewing now for here uh, make sure that this remaining bigger color now this remaining bigger color now is also same with this one now it's very very necessary now we are done now so some people do make a lot of mistake at this part they do stop their sewing so we are here now so we are here which is very very wrong it won't give you the this thing but i sewed mine to the end i sewed mine to the end so the next thing you are going to do is you are going to like cut it out remember give a little gap from where you sewed your 3d now we'll cut it out Now I've also cut the other end. When you are done cutting it, you just fold it out. Fold your fabric. See what I did there? I just folded it out. Now I'm also going to fold the other end. So this is the result that we have gotten so far. So now you are going to be joining it to your shirt. Um, is this is actually your first time of sewing this kind of color? you really um, need to work with your iron so that your work will look neat but i won't be ironing my own course <laughs> that's as this has actually been my profession so give it a thorough ironing but i didn't iron my own actually just click the subscribe button guys because it's actually am um, part of like encouraging me so for this side now make sure that it's equal make sure that it's equal so that now we start sewing it well remember it's that uh, a <coughs>
is that open space that you'll be sewing you be that open space that you'll be sewing remember that folded uh, part you won't sew on top of it remember i just stopped halfway of the shirt collar i didn't sew it to the end so that it won't uh, come out at the top of it so i'm going to start from the other end i'm starting from the other end make sure that the color and the shirts it's equal like i'm doing just now now I'll place it in my sewing machine make sure that it's equal Just watch how I do my sewing. Now let me give you guys a little tip. When you are sewing uh, this other part, you just shift it inside. Shift it inside. Shift it inside so that your thread won't touch it. Just so. What you guys have actually stopped at where I stitched now, where I stopped halfway is now complete. So, also remember to be cutting your thread because it helps to make your work look more presentable. Now, see the result that you have gotten so far. Now, see the next step that you are going to take. Just pay close attention, guys. This place, this place now, see what you are going to just push it inside push it inside and make sure that the thread now won't be showing make sure that the thread won't be showing but although some people do make the thread to show but i don't really like it that way i don't really like it that way so i now doing my sewing you'll be pushing it inside and be sewing don't push it too much so that <laughs> so that the three was to touch at the other end like the back side of it click the subscribe button guys it's actually way of uh, encouraging me or saying thank you see how it is see what you guys i'm almost at this other end so i'm also going to like push this other end inside just watch how i saw it we're almost at the end of this video mm -hmm. we are almost at this other end see how i'm going to cover it <coughs> although also remember to stitch it before you like turn your thread remember to stitch it so that you don't um, tear something and more preferable use them um, tiny stitching when sewing this side like when sewing any color and just any clue that i also just make use of tiny stitches now we are done with the sewing see the result that you have gotten so far also click the subscribe button and also like this video also comment guys because um this is the result that you have gotten so when you're about ironing your clothes you just this way now you just iron it this way just this way this way guys this way now you just iron it this way so this is the result that you have gotten guys click the subscribe button like the video and also comment share also so that it also reach more people it's your boy see you guys in my next video bye